Welcome. Today we're going to make a meatloaf. Now we have a, a pound each of ground beef, a pound of pork, and we're going to add to it all the things that are going to make that meatloaf yummy. The first thing we're going to do, we need a teaspoon of salt. This is a half teaspoon. Shout out to my folks at Redmond's Real Salt, my favorite brand of salt. Yeah. We have some diced parsley. I like to use fresh herbs, but you're welcome to use dried herbs. Uh, you can add, you can always add a little more to the recipe when you're using dried herbs. It just, and this is basil. We're gonna thicken this with some almond flour. This is unblanched almond flour, but you can use blanched almond flour, unblanched, does not matter one bit. Let's see, I think I have a cup there. Diced onions. That's for flavor. Let's get some freshly ground Parmesan. Delicious. And then I'm about to put my hands in this and just make a big mess. But we gotta get the egg going. Ooh, pepper. Can we make that a gif? But it doesn't say anything, it's just me going. Okay, and I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Get right in there. Get that garlicky goodness all over. And then the egg. Kind of move this stuff over. You can use an extra egg if you feel like you need to. And we gotta put in the tomato paste. I put in about a tablespoon. Check the label for no sugar. You don't want any sugar in this. So we're gonna really get that tomato paste mix in there. Okay, I'm gonna separate this into two sections because then we're gonna start to build, build our loaf. Let's build a loaf. It has two halves, okay? Okay, let me grab this meatloaf pan. I have a coconut oil spray. You can use olive oil spray, whatever you wanna use. You know I'm not a fan of like things like canola oil or corn oil, so don't use those. And now we're gonna take our first half of meatloaf, and press it in nice and even. You want your meatloaf to cook evenly. Okay, so we've got the first half of the meatloaf in here. I'm gonna set this aside for just a sec and we are going to make a quick glaze. Now, a glaze generally means there's sugar involved and you can whip up this glaze and add a date to it, but if you don't want to, that is fine too. We're not going to use a date with this. So, we have tomato paste, wooda. Mm. Use a couple things of Dijon mustard. It's very loud. I'm gonna do four of those because I'm gonna do two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. Okay, we're gonna whip this up. So, it almost looks like a ketchup, it looks like the consistency of ketchup. I do have a recipe for homemade ketchup and eat happy too. Just saying. So let's take this glaze, just start to spread it. Spread the glaze on your meat. I'm sorry, why? Why am I the worst? I, I am a seventh grade boy in the body of a 46 year old woman. And yeah, I did say my real age. I'm one of the few people in Hollywood who will say her real age. Let's lay on a couple slices of Swiss cheese. We love Swiss cheese. It's perfect for this recipe because it's nice and uh, pliable. But if you want to use another kind of cheese, if you have another kind of cheese, that's great. Then we're starting to lay across these asparagus pieces. There we go. And then finish it off with some more cheese. You want the cheese to kind of ooze out the side a little bit. And then the last step, well, second to last step, well, third to last, because you have to cook it. This other half of the loaf, plop. Let's take the rest of this glaze and glaze the top of this thing. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, dirty dish. Okay, it'll start to melt down the sides when it cooks and it'll be wonderful. So we're gonna put this in the oven for one hour, take it out, let it stand for 10 to 15 minutes and cut into it and see what it looks like. These are filthy. Like why weren't these washed before we did the shoot? You know why? Because we don't care. Let's get that meatloaf out of the oven. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, hey. 
close this. The meatloaf has shrunk down a bit. It looks delicious. Uh, the juices are all kind of boiling, so it's cooking in that. So this is why you want to let it stand for about 10 minutes. And then when it's ready, we will cut into it. So let's just stare at this for 10 minutes. Okay, let's cut into it and see what it looks like. If you see like it shrunk down from the outsides of the tin, I'm gonna use this little guy right here. We're gonna cut. Cut one from here, from the middle, so we can really see what this thing looks like. Now, whoops, here we go, here we go. I wanna eat this though, <gasps> even that's gorgeous. You know, the juices will be really good sprinkled on it. That's so good. It's meaty, it's cheesy, it's got some vegetables in there, it's got onion, it's got asparagus. Oh my god. I love your meatloaf. Check out anavicino.com or get your hands on Eat Happy Too to get this and 159 other gluten-free, grain-free, low-carb recipes. I'm Anna Vicino. Thanks for joining me.